Everyone can hear me now? Yes. yes. Perfect. Hi. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and for watching. My name is Annabelle Howard, and I'm the voice of Big Fun Education. And we're going to be talking about the Scottish play today. I'm going to try very hard not to say the name of the play. And that's because we're sort of in a virtual theater here right now. It's live, we're people, we're playing different roles, we have different parts, so it's sort of like a theatre and the tradition is that if you say the name of the play you get bad luck. So I don't <laughs> want us to have any bad luck this morning, I'm going to try hard to call it the Scottish play. <laughs> so we've all looked at the play a little bit and we know there's a feast in there. And other things happen in that scene. It's dramatic. There's, you know, there's a ghost. The Lady Macbeth is angry with her husband. All these things. Macbeth is going crazy. But the big question for people who like to eat is what did they serve? What did they cook for the Macbeths at the feast? What was on the table? So we're going to try and answer that question for you this morning. We have some experts. And they're going to help us make one historically plausible dish, a dish we can believe in that might have been something they'd serve, and also a dessert that's inspired by the words in the play and the theme of the play. So I want to tell you that I am personally so delighted to have students from England, Bournemouth, England. Hello, Bournemouth, England. Hello. <laughs> Fantastic. You can tell I'm a little bit prejudiced. I do come from England. <laughs> so I couldn't be more thrilled to have the English here. I'm also American, so I'm equally delighted to have students here from Maine, East Coast. Let's hear it for the East Coast, America. Yeah. Fantastic. Look at that. Fifth graders. Brilliant. I used to teach fifth grade. I love that age. And last but definitely not least, we have, for your pleasure, students from Argentina. Yay. Hello, Argentina. <laughs> Amazing. I, I just haven't spoken with students in Argentina before. I tell you, Google Plus is amazing. It's bringing us all together. So we're going to meet you a little bit more later on. Um, we're going to meet the experts, but let's just get started. What I want to do is give you a geographical context for the feast that happened in Inverness Castle in Scotland. So I'm going to show a map of the world, thanks to Google, and I'm going to hand you over to our expert in theatre history, who comes from the Yale School of Drama. Hello, Rachel. Hi, everybody. Hi, hey, Rach. So take it away, Rachel. As we see the pictures come up, you can tell us what we're looking at. All right, so this is a map of the world. Can you see your own country? Because we're from all over the world today. Yeah. <laughs> and we are zeroing in on Great Britain, so England, Wales, and Scotland. And getting closer to Scotland and Inverness Castle in the Scottish Highlands. And this is where the Scottish play is set. So this is a picture of Inverness Castle as it looks today. But this castle was actually built in 1836, which is more than 200 years after Shakespeare wrote the play. So we have some other pictures for you. Um, should be coming up is, uh, because there were no cameras when Shakespeare was writing, an artist 
did a rendering of what the castle might have looked like around 1600, which is around when Shakespeare was writing the play. So as you can see, it's a big stone fortress. But this isn't even the castle where King Macbeth might have lived. The castles in Inverness have this long history of being knocked down and rebuilt by invading kings from England and from Scotland. And so we think in the 10 hundreds when the real King Macbeth was alive, the castle was more like a fort. So this is a Pictish fort. Picked, that's a fun word, picked. Uh, those were <laughs> picked. Uh, that was an ancient Scottish tribe, and this is the kind of place where they lived. So you can see this isn't a big stone fortress. This is much more wood and straw, and so it's actually much easier to knock down and invade than we think of it as being. Um, but the story of the real King Macbeth, who lived um, in the 10 hundreds, from 1040 to 10, he was king from 1040 to 1057 AD, and he did kill the Scottish king Duncan and was avenged by Duncan's son Malcolm. And this story has captured people's imagination since it happened, especially Shakespeare. And the play that Shakespeare wrote, which we call the Scottish play, has been on everybody's mind since it was written. And so, including uh, an artist who painted a painting of what he thought the feast might look like. Um, and we're going to show the painting in just a second. The painting is of the feast. It's called The Ghost of Banquo. It's by an artist named Theodore Chaucerot, who painted it in 1855. And you can see how the ghost is in the center of the painting. And so even though everyone in the painting is looking at Macbeth, Macbeth is looking at the ghost. So it's this great depiction of how guilt feels, how you see this enormous, shining, white figure that nobody else can see because you know you did something wrong. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you, Rachel. That really yeah. sets the scene. That gives the setting for the whole play and then for this scene in the castle um, with the feast. Uh, this hangout is a part of a series uh, of hangouts that we're calling Macbeth Goes Social. We have about 400 students around the world involved and they're reading a digital text, a digital version of the play online in several languages. And so far, to begin the collaboration, we've been saying hello to each other in hangouts. That's how we've begun our collaboration. So. What I'd like to do right now is to say hello to Larry. Larry's in Trinidad. Larry, hello. Expert chef. Hello, guys. Hello, hello England. <laughs> hello, Argentina. Hello, USA. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I, I I know we have a couple things that we have to go over regarding the spices some of the spices and herbs that they used back then in their food uh, do you have some of those in front of you yes okay uh, tell, tell me tell me what what do you have because we we're looking to get some some ginger some garlic some almonds Okay, who, who, who has what? Okay, des describe what you have there. Um, bite, bite on it. Tell me what it tastes like. First, first, tell us what it is. And pass it among, pass it among e each other. We got eyeballs. You got almonds, all right, good, because we will be using almonds later on when we make the marzipan. That's grounded, we're gonna ground the, the, the almonds and, and add it with some um, some eggs and some other things. But uh, do you guys like almonds? Yes, yes. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what, what else What else do you have in front of you? Yes. Ra raisins? Yeah. Okay. Taste. Taste them. Taste it. Taste it. Tell me what it. Uh, tell me what it tastes like. Nice. Okay. And ra raisins are actually very good for you. So so is almonds. So so is nuts. So 
uh, you you guys have a, a plate of healthy, good eating stuff in front of you. Okay, what else? What else do you have? What else do you have? We have eggs. eggs. What what is that? Peace to cover the face. Cover the face. Ah. The face to cover the face. Okay. Okay. That's that's for the that's for the mazapan. I, yes. I, I, I can't I can't hear them. Maria, could you could you tell me what is that they just held up? Since you're closer to the um mic. We have um, what is it? Flower. Oh, flower. Okay. Uh, some raisins. Right. And almonds. Okay. And some sugar. Three eggs. Okay, that that is for the mazapan as as we go, as we're gonna be making that later on as part of the dessert. Exactly. Right. So, guys. Do we, do we have what we What's, what's Do that, we have what we need? Pardon? Is this all we need? Yeah, Are yeah, we... yeah. That, that's that's basically what you need to make the master pan. Um, but as far as the um the the raisins and stuff, they let them eat it. Let them. All right. So kids. Yeah. Um, eat the raisins. Eat the raisins. Raisins are good for you. <laughs> oh. and, and and I know they just came out from um from playing. So. Did they have raisins? Yeah, they might be a little hungry. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Wonderful. Guys in um you, the guys in the US, the guys in the US, do you have any anything to munch on? <laughs> okay, Larry. Yeah, can you, you hear me, Larry? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you you all have anything to munch on? We have um, almonds. We have almond paste, eggs, uh, confectionery, sugar, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and almond extract. Okay. Paste. Well, actually, for the mazapan, you you guys will be making a mazapan also, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Good. So we will just go to London and, and see what Aslan and the witches are brewing. So if you could just mute your mic, Donna, appreciate it. Hi guys. <laughs> hey folks, can you hear me? Yes, Aslan, how are you? Well, we're good, we're good, thank you. And uh, what the guys are doing there with the, um, you, I see you have two witches. We do indeed. We've got the world's best behaved witches right here. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't moved an inch. <laughs> and a rock star in the making with his hair. And uh -huh. the cute one there. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. Okay, well, back in back in the um, Macbeth times, for the rest of the, the folks in Argentina and in the US, we are now going to make a gravy for the chicken that they had at the feast. You, normally, they would bake the chicken whole over like a spit, spit roast. Spit roast. Yeah. yeah. And Aslan sort of made a, a quasi spit <laughs> going yeah, on a there. Make, a, a makeshift spit a roast. Makeshift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that just kind of gives you the idea of, of basically what um, what took place back then. And of course, in Macbeth time, there were the witches who did a, a, a witch's brew. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, those witches right now are, are very quiet. They're very timid. So maybe they're supposed to go bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Yeah, there, 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 there might be witches in training. <laughs> so so what, uh, what Azan is going to do, is um, make some gravy that they would probably have had back then to go with that roasted chicken. So she's mm -hmm. gonna she's gonna make a simple gravy, a simple chicken gravy, to mm -hmm. go with the chicken. So okay, Aslan, take it away. Alrighty. Um, what I've done to make the gravy is just simply roasted roasted some chicken bones and chicken wings with some celery, some carrots, and because. In, in, in Elizabethan times, um, you would have sweet and sour tastes 
to make up for the lack of freshness in the meat because they couldn't preserve things very well then. So I, I added some prunes and some raisins into it as well and um, some nutmeg there. We're just going to grate some fresh nutmeg into the gravy and I, I had some cinnamon in it too and a couple of cloves and a tiny, tiny pinch of the world's most expensive spice. Anybody? Saffron. Okay. And now that 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 gravy's been cooking, and I'm just gonna heat it up now uh, with all those spices and all those things that we've mentioned. And I added a little bit of flour to thicken the gravy. And we mustn't forget some pepper in there. And. This gravy will basically be poured into a jug. <coughs> you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, in, in Elizabethan times, in Shakespearean times, feasts were very, very important visually as well. Right, Rachel? That's right. Yeah. So, are we are we going forward? Yeah. yeah. Um, do, do, are, are you guys happy with the chicken? Do you want me to carve it, Larry, or is that okay? Do we leave it as it is? Uh, well, well, you can leave it as it is, but yeah. I personally, personally, while we moving forward, you could be carving up and uh, feeding the witches because they look hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take so, it away, Rachel. <laughs> so, as Aslan was saying, feasts were very important. They were actually one of the major forms of entertainment in Elizabethan England. And does anybody know why we're talking about Shakespeare's England, even though Macbeth lived 500 years Ooh. before the play was written? Did the ghost just get up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Shakespeare didn't have Google to go and look up all the research when he was writing his history plays. So he sort of took the stories that he knew from history and filled them all in with events from his own life. So when we look at a feast in the play Macbeth, or the Scottish play, we're really looking at what a Tudor feast might have looked like. And so these were big, elaborate feasts where meat, like the, the meat that Aslan is carving, centerpiece. And then because they, they didn't have any other forms of entertainment, they turned food into a kind of entertainment. And so one very popular thing to do was to make food that looked like other food, especially dessert. So they might have bun, sugar, cups, and plates. So you could eat off the plate, and then you could eat the plate. And then one thing that was really popular was making things out of marzipan, or what they called marchpane, which was the way the English pronounced the word marzipan, which is a German or Italian word. And this was a very stiff, almost like, like Play-Doh substance made entirely of almonds and sugar and egg whites that you could mold into whatever you wanted it to. So you could make it look like anything, like animals, like flowers, like leaves, and so they, they made all sorts of things out of marzipan. Wow. Yeah, and I guess right about now, guys, we're going to be making some marzipan. <laughs> Everybody ready? Let's have some messy fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who, who's going to be making a marzipan? Um, Argentina. Yes, here you are. Okay, so you have your mixer, you have your 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 your, your big mixing bowl. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, first, I, I think um, we should maybe differentiate mazepan to what what they normally use now is called something called fondant, and fondant is the difference between fondant and mazepan is that. Fondant is made from ground almonds, sugar, and eggs, and it's it's pretty thick when you when you put it together. As well as fondant, fondant is a mixture of sugar, glucose, and it's heated. It's cooked at about uh, I guess about 220, 230 degrees Fahrenheit, and then once it's cooled, you knead it like bread. And it becomes very, very thin, uh, but but yet firm. But it's not as thick and heavy as marzipan. But they still use marzipan today, in along with um, fondant. 
they would put the put, put the marzipan over the cake and then they would put the 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 fondant over the marzipan so the the the, the fond the marzipan sort of keeps the 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 cake together and then right. the the marzipan the fondant sort of keeps the moisture keeps keeps it moist okay so all right now we have a little bit of background on that let let's uh let's let's get ready to make it guys Yes. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so you have your bowl. Do, 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 you have the, do you have the recipe in front of you by any chance? Yes, yes. Okay, all right, let's, let's see how good, let's see how good you can follow the recipe. Where shall I do? Do you have that behind the recipe? One second, please. Just no, one second. No, no problem. Because because what I would like to do is is go over the you know coach you guys along the the, the um the recipe. Are you, are you guiding us? Yeah, I'm guiding. I'm guiding. I'm guiding. Okay. I just want to know if, if you have it in front of you, so you can follow. <laughs> right. So so we'll be making the the thumb. This is the the seventh thumb we're going to be making, right? With the with the with the mazepan. All right. So so you'll need a pound of almond paste. Three cups of powdered sugar that's sifted, two large eggs, and we're gonna beat them, and then we need the uh, food food coloring. Are your hands washed? Yes. Okay. All right. I I think I, I think I lost the hangout. <laughs> All right. Larry, do you or or Rachel, do you want to? Can you hear me? Do you want to I, explain what we we're, we're calling it? The pilot's thumb. Why? Yeah. Yeah, Rachel. Um, Rachel. Yeah, I can. So, remember how we said that they would make anything out of marzipan from fruit or nuts or animals. So we thought what we could do with you was to stick with one of the themes of Macbeth, which is that fair is foul and foul is fair, and make something foul or kind of gross out of yeah. something fair or sweet and delicious like marzipan. Mm -hmm. And so when the witches are making their brew in Act 1, they put in um, a pilot's thumb. And so we thought out of your marzipan you could make a thumb and stick it in your witch's brew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Witches want okay. to eat. So, so, all right. So you guys have cut up the almond paste and you're putting it in the in the bowl. All right. Okay. Now, now you can take the mixer. Mixer, yes. <laughs> okay. Mixer. Don't sugar. All right, and don't, don't forget. Now, now we can add. Now we can add the powdered sugar. And while we add in the powdered sugar, we should be mixing. You could say bubble, bubble, toil and trouble while you mix it, if you like. Yeah, yeah. You, you have the sugar. Yeah, that's the sugar. Yes, Maria. Just put some sugar in the into the um, into the bowl. Yeah. We use about about three cups. Three cups of sugar. All right. Yeah, that's what I like guessing. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So, so while the, uh, are the eggs cracked and and beaten, what you should do is get some get the kids to crack the eggs and and beat them in a in a separate bowl. Egg whites, right? Yeah, the egg whites. Oh yes, you you extract the um the yolk from the from the albumen or the white, yeah. Very scientific Yo. albumen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so just egg white, right, Maria? Yes, just the white here. Yeah, just the white, just the whites. Okay, great, great. All right. So, 
while while he's beating that, you can take the um the mixer and mix the the sugar and the and the almond paste with the blender. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, it's gonna be flying all over the place, huh? So. <laughs> <laughs> we said it was big fun. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. Main, 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 main watching, together. Watching, watching in horror. <laughs> <laughs> Getting spooky. Yeah. That's pretty tidy, actually. Yeah. I, I, actually, actually, that that is a <coughs> excuse me, but that sort of mixer it will take a little work. Um, as compared to those big uh, KitchenAid, you know, blenders that you just yeah. yeah yeah. What are they doing in Maine? I wonder. Have they got a mixer there? Why do we use our hands? <laughs> it, it's it's going to take a lot to to mix it with your hands, Maria. <laughs> uh, just try to mix it as as best as you can. All right. Uh, all right, and then you want to slowly add the eggs in there. All right. Once you start incorporating the dry mixture, yeah, the whites are about to be ready. Yeah. Okay. Keep mixing, and then start slowly. Start putting in the um, the egg whites. All right. Can we get Maine to unmute themselves? Yeah, Maine could unmute, but we'll be echoing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so while while it's mixing, you, right? What, like this. Pour, pour the eggs. Right. Beautiful. Pour the eggs into the bowl. Wait for me. They're Keep mixing. Keep mixing. No. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. Mix it. <laughs> Control chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barely controlled chaos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that that's supposed yeah, to get. It looks that's, fine. It's supposed to get into a ball. Is it getting into a ball there? No, they made the first. They made the first course, not the second course. Yeah, we 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 made that. And, and, and then you could also add the um, you want to add the food coloring at this point. So we we'll have a nice color of the um marzipan. A nice a bloody pilot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, 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 we we we're gonna we're gonna paint it after though, right? Yeah. So, okay, all right. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. it'll be. Too Pink, right. I think. Yeah, f f forget what I said. Forget what I said. I think we just drizzle it at the end to make uh, it look glory. Yeah, I, I wish Maine could have um, been doing that also. But it looks like they've got something there in the bowl. Yeah. Look, they're showing us. Oh, they put it. They made it pink. Oh, they made it. Oh. Ah, yeah. That's great. Okay. They're, they're making it. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Are they sculpting it already? <laughs> yeah. Main, main, if if it's ready, it looks like it's ready. You could start sculpting. And then give each child a, yeah. a raw almond. <laughs> <Thumbs up>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> how 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 are you doing, Argentina? Okay. All right. We could start. Great, yeah. Start, start, start making it into a ball and and give it to the kids so they could make their their thumbs. So they can all make thumbs. <laughs> I 
Aslan, how is it coming there in the UK? Well, we, we're all done and dusted. Um, we're just making <laughs> some from icing sugar as well. Fondant. Okay. <laughs> we always got fondant at home. Oh, yeah. Oh, using fondant. Okay, nice. All right, so, so guys, the witches are ahead of you all. They're making, they're making their thumbs already. Argentina, you guys can start making your little bo making your little fingers. I guess the witches had magic. They just suddenly yeah. made it. I yeah. don't know. Witches, <laughs> crazy mad skills, those witches. And <laughs> Maine, uh, they, it they, looks they, like Maine is getting ready to, the, the kids over there are getting ready to mix their, make their little thumbs. Okay, Argentina, how are you doing there? Yeah. Okay, yes, put, put a little powdered sugar in front of them so they could, so they could, yeah. Make, make make the balls. Yeah. Form it and then from that you could now sculpt oh, whatever shape. Oh, I see a nail on there. Can you basically yeah. tidiness, right? What's that? One of the main principles when cooking is tidiness. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Agreed, like agreed. Program, so <laughs> totally I, agree. So <laughs> totally agree. And, and also, also, if you guys have the almonds, you can stick, you can make the almonds like the fingernail. Let me see, show, show my fingernail here. Yeah. So the fingernail could be one of the almonds. So when it, when you're making the finger, just take one of the almonds and stick it in there and make a fingernail. Yes. Hi, the nails go here. The shape of a finger. How is uh, how is Maine coming along? H hold it up, Maine. Let me see how far you guys are. Oh. <laughs> we get a close up. Get closer. Yeah, bring bring it up to the bring it up to the camera. Oh. <laughs> He's, he's making a little man. <laughs> <laughs> he made the whole pilot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Can we see what the witches made in England? Kids, here, I'm showing you the funniest things. <laughs> All right. Okay. Argentina is starting to, to take shape now. Argentina is taking shape. The witches, the witches are almost done. Of course. Man, they have to I tell you, those witches came out of training real fast. <laughs> You like this figure? Yeah. Yeah, let me see it. Forget Harry Potter's school of magic. Yeah, Harry Potter's school of Oh, yeah, oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, the, that's a double nail. <laughs> <laughs> Gryffindor all the way. Yeah. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Oh, that looks good. Main, main, oh, you're looking good, main. Main, you're looking Look good. <laughs> Argentina, let me see what you got. Show and tell, Argentina. <laughs> show and tell, show and tell. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That looks good, Argentina. All I got to do now is give it a little color, a little red. Aha. All right. Yeah. Bueno, Buen, is it bueno or buena? My Spanish is horrible. Is it bueno or buena? <laughs> I guess it goes for both because you have male and female. Bueno, buena, bueno, buena. Right? 
Yeah. The English witches are serving fingers like uh, like little tea biscuits. <laughs> Oh man, that looks, that looks good, man. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Have a finger. Have a thumb. <laughs> Get a close up on your plate of, of thumbs. You're almost done. It looks amazing. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, bring it, bring it closer, Aslan. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. Bring it closer. So so John so John could put that in the shot. Can you yeah. See that? Oh, oh wow. Cool. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Argentina. Hey, did you just see that? Can we get a close up of a witch eating? Oh. Oh. A witch eating a. Which one in the finger? Oh yes. Could we? Could man, we? Man, you're looking good. Man is looking good. Wow. Rockstar wants the, the rockstar wants to have a nice. I think this is called Argentina, let's see what. Let's see you guys. We're going to eat a finger. We're going to eat a finger. All right. Come, come closer to the camera. Fair oh, yeah. is foul, and foul is it's fair. That's it. Can you see him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is, 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 is this your... Is this your... That's your... Aslan, Aslan. Aslan, yeah? you, you have witches and warlocks in training. <laughs> warlocks, yes. <laughs> It was so funny. I don't know if that was if that was foul or fair. I think it was. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Let's see. Let's see what you got, man. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Take, take a bite. Take, take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> How does it taste? Fair or foul? <laughs> take a taste. Take a taste. Take a bite. Ah. <laughs> He, he's making a mustache. <laughs> uh, okay, well, as much as we hate to leave you guys, we yeah. have to leave you. Ooh, ooh. Can we see that? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that is funny. Ooh. Wow. Scary. Have we had a picture of the Argentina? Oh, 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 look at, look at um, Argentina. Argentina, Argentina, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Okay. Yeah. Big, big, well done, well done. Yeah. UK, well done, UK, well done, UK. <laughs> the, the, the witches, the witches. <laughs> okay. So, so now, now in, in about in about five or ten years, you guys are all gonna be pastry chefs, right? <laughs> Or witches. I'm not sure oh, which. Or witches. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Argentina. Very good. Very good. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got to wrap it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Red hands. Perfect. For that Okay, everybody. Well, I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you to everybody for coming. Goodbye, England. Bye. Goodbye, May. Bye. Bye, Dad. Goodbye, Trinidad. We know Larry is from Trinidad. Goodbye, Rachel from Connecticut. Bye, Rachel. And goodbye, me. Goodbye, me. <laughs>
Many, many thanks to John Ellis for producing this show. I think yeah, this is a lot of fun. I hope we can do some more. Hey, John. Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Goodbye. It was fun. See you, Argentina. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Maine. Bye, UK. And we off here. I think we had fun. Are we off here? Yeah, that was that was good. That was great. Are we on the dead, John? Yeah. Yes, I think so. I think it's gone back to the Rachel.